Welcome back everybody, it's Daniel. In the last video we actually hooked up all of these photos. So now you'll notice for each for each row in this contacts app, we have a different photo. And actually in this case we have, if I, if I go to main activity, you'll see we use person one again and again a couple of times. But this is kind of the basics. So at least you have different photos. And in the last video I explained how you can paste in your images to the drawables and you can add them here. So that's all good. In this video, um, will actually do something when you click on them. So I'm clicking on them and nothing's happening. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to make it when you so that when you click on it, it actually goes to a new activity. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so how can we do this? First I'm going to close content main. We're not going to need that or that. I'm just going to close some stuff. Done with that. Um, so let's open up our friends adapter and if you close everything you can open it back up like if I have friends adapter opened up and I want to find it in the left I can just hit that button and it automatically finds it for me. Same thing for this I can automatically find stuff. So let's open up friends adapter. We need a way to tell it that hey for each row here we want this click to go to a new activity we're going to create. So how can we do that? Let's just start with the basics, okay? Let's try to get as let's try to let's try to do this as slowly as possible just so we understand it. So the the main there are a number of ways we can do this, but the best way is probably gonna or not the best way, what a pretty good way is probably to use uh, I think Kotlin like higher order functions are what they're called, I think. But this will allow us to get a click on to here, send it back to here, and then from here we can launch our new activity we're about to create. Okay, so let's do that. So over here inside of friends adapter, we're, we're right now we have friends adapter there and we're passing in a list of friends, but we also want to somehow link up this friends adapter, that line, to the click inside of there. So how can we do that? Let's just start with the basics. Okay, so holder.view. And that's gonna be the entire row. So for each row, it's gonna be like there, 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 etc. So we have that view. Let's do dot set on click listener, and I have it there. I've used I use it a lot, so it's prompting me high for it. But it should look just like that. And every time you click on there, we'll say um, clicked. And this is giving us an error. So just put your mouse over there and do Alt Enter, and that should import it for you. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. I'm going to open up the log cat and I've already searched for Daniel there so you'll see Daniel there. Um, that's going to match that's going to match whatever you put right there. So I'll open up the emulator and watch and watch over there. So I'm going to click on the first one and it said clicked. I'm going to click on the last one, another clicked. I'm going to click on this one, I'll click on Hannah Malone, clicked. So there you see for each one we're actually successfully capturing the click. But we need a way to actually hook this up to our main adapter to launch a new uh, uh, to launch our new, um, I, there are a couple, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. There are a couple of ways we could do this, but I think this might be the best solution. So to pass something from here, yeah, I don't know if this is, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it this way that I'm having in my mind. So let's do this. Let's up here, let's create a new variable. We'll do val, that's our new variable. We'll call this friend clicked. And this will be of type, I think we just do like that. Uh, then unit, I think. This is how you do it, I think. So we have our very, I'll be added it is that right there. So put a comma there, or sorry, put a comma there. Then we'll create a new variable. We'll create a new variable. We'll call it friend clicked. Uh, then this right here kind of lets us know that to, this kind of links it up to this, um, uh, to our main activity here. So now this is giving us an error. So what we can do, actually, let's not do that quite yet. Um, but yeah, yeah, so we have our friend clicked and we're going to trigger this site inside of here. So whenever we click on the view, let's do this. Let's do friend clicked, which remember is the same variable we just created up there. Then we'll do dot invoke. So boom, there we are. And it's letting us know that it could be private. So if you just put your mouse over stuff, it says it can be private. So do alt enter and we can make that private. That just means this friend variable can only be used anywhere right there. Um, the output of that, however, we can use back over to here. So it's giving us an error saying no value passed for friend clicked. We'll do this, put in quotes there, and there we go. And now we'll do D Daniel. We'll do um, hi from main activity. Um, and then there's an error, so I'm going to put our mouse there, do alt enter, and that should be good. 
So now I'm going to open back up the log cat and I'm going to go ahead and clear that, run it again, and let's see what happens. We should see this high from main activity. And we do. So high from main activity. That's all great. So what we need to do next is let's see, let's what should we do? So I think we have I think we're done with this. Uh, not, well, not quite, but we're, for now we're done with this. Um, let's go back to main activity and let's do this. Um, let's do start activity. We'll do intent. But we haven't actually created our activity yet, so let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and create it. We'll call this right click new Kotlin file class. We'll call this friend de detail view. And we'll name this one a class. And we'll go ahead and save that. And this will extend, uh, I think, app compat activity. So it's basically saying, hey, this friend details view, we want it to be a screen. An activity is a screen, and app compat is just, a, I think that's what we use here, right? Yeah, app compat activity. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mouse over there, and it's giving us an error. So I'm going to click on it and do Alt Enter, and let's go ahead and add it to manifest. That just adds it right here, and there it is. So it added that line for us. So great, we have it in our uh, manifest now. Okay, so in this, let's do let's do on create, and let's go ahead and another cool trick. I think there's a keyboard shortcut for this. It's, I think it's uh, all. I think it's Alt O. Control, uh, control O maybe. Yeah, there we go. So control O then on create. And let's go ahead and just use this one right here. I'm going to select it and hit OK. There we are. So now we can do set content view. And this is saying, hey, for this friends detail view, let's give it a special layout. So in the past we've been using and we've been using our content main and our that's the main layout we've been using right here, this layout for the recycler view. But we want our detail, we want our friend details view to be, uh, actually should have been named activity, but our friend friend detail view, we want this to be a different layout. So this layout's gonna be r.layouts dots, uh, and we'll call this, actually we need to create a new layout. So let's do this. So right click on layout and go to new uh, layout resource folder, and we'll call this, get rid of that, uh, sorry, one more time, new layout resource file. We'll call this friend details. And let's make this a constraint layout. And I think that's good. And that opens it up for us, it's blank. So now we can use it here. We'll, we'll use this detail, yeah, friend details. So there it is. So this is great. We have our new, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna be on this main activity here. And then when you click on it, so right there when you click on when you click on the row, it's gonna send you to friend details view and this this activity right here. So we actually haven't done that yet. So let's do this. Let's do um, we'll do a start activity and we'll do intent. And then we'll do I think the first one is this. And then we'll yeah. So it has to be this that main activity. So just go ahead and do that. Comma and then friend detail. What do we call it? Friend detail view. And then we'll do class.java. So this line is saying, hey, we're gonna start a new screen. This new screen, we kind of we kind of have to say, hey, we're gonna start at this activity and we're gonna go to this activity. So it's just kind of a navigation saying, hey, let's 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 launch something new. Let's get rid of let's get rid of this screen and let's launch a new screen. We're gonna launch friend details view, which is a bad name, but oh well. So yeah, so basically we say, hey, go ahead and start here at main activity and go to friend details view. And if we control click on there, it should take us right into here. So I'm gonna to go to friend details view and let's just add a button. So I'm just gonna put a random button on the screen just so we have something there. Click, drag, let go. Maybe, maybe we'll center it. Click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. So just put a button in the middle there. So let's just go ahead and see if this works. I don't know if this will work or not, but let's just run it and see together. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load. It opens up. Now I'm gonna click on the first one here. Okay, ready, click. And boom, it goes to this new screen. And our new screen actually has this button in the middle. So this is kind of cool. And then we should be able to, yeah, we can go back using the back button. So I can click on Nick Malone. That's a picture of a girl for Nick. I don't think that's a girl's name. Jordan Malone, Bethany Malone. Yeah, so we have Hannah Malone, who's a guy, I guess. And we have this button here. So there it is. Um, let's go ahead and what should we do next? 
That might be good for this video. I might do the rest in a separate video. Yeah, but you'll notice that it just, like if I click on Josh Malone, it doesn't say Josh Malone anywhere on that screen. That's because we haven't actually built the text views and images for this kind of stuff yet. So, but we're successfully launching a new activity. So I think it's gonna be good enough for this video. So hopefully you learned something about uh, starting a new activity. We kind of, inside of our adapter, we kind of, we kind of created this new kind of link to our main activity. We we're getting the on click set, set on click list center here. We launch it, it when, when we click on that, it launches this right here. We'll start a new activity with an intent. We'll start at main activity. We'll go to friend details view. Yeah, so that's basically it. So I'll go back to the app one more time and yeah, we'll click on Josh Malone. There we are. We can click on Daniel Malone. There we are. So in the next video, we'll actually display, we'll actually display a list of, or we'll actually finish out this details view where when you click on, you know, Hannah Malone, it shows Hannah Malone and a picture of her. So we'll do that, we'll do that all in the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.